tests play a significant role in a successful launch of a spaceship. Many times, scientists may even conduct these tests hundreds of times, despite the millions of dollars it may be costing each time. But what's so special this time? And what are the results of the Starship Super Heavy S24B7 static testing? Stay tuned to the end and learn all you ever wanted to know about this latest test conducted by them. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This video will take you through the latest knowledge that our scientists gathered out of one of the strongest spacecraft to be ever created by them. We'll be looking at the static fire test that recently took place and we'll speculate what they may bring in for the nation in terms of research and space exploration. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and also let us know what you think about them. Not long back, we saw SpaceX rolling out the new Starship towards the South Texas launch and test facilities. However, we did not get to know much about what happened inside and how successful this test was to speculate the benefits it could bring to us. The company resembles the world's largest rocket in the test facility in an attempt to test out the capabilities of their new Starship. The preparations for the test started overnight at the base rocket factory in Boca Chica in Texas. The orbital class Starship was found laid out for testing purposes in the facility from a distance. The workers connected the rocket all together to find the best possible capabilities out of a machine that they had been developing for quite a long time. So what activity did we notice here? Now you all know that SpaceX caused the Starship Ship 25, which was just a few miles down the highway, to be tested later when the sun rises. The next day, around 9 a.m. on the 20th of October, SpaceX started lifting up 25 onto one of the two test stands they had. This stand will be used multiple times after this test to ensure that the ship qualifies to carry important cargo and human beings in the future. Just before placing Ship 25 on the test pad, the tower started lifting up Ship 24 by making use of a new mechanism that was able to replace one of the biggest mobile cranes in the world. This was when they went on to stack Ship 24 on top of the Super Heavy Booster 7 to later install Ship 25 on the test stand. The reason why these changes were made and the positions were altered is to facilitate their decision to conduct thorough tests on the 24th of October. On the big day, the rocket will be put through a test run by filling it up with methane and oxygen and simulating a countdown to finally end up with engine ignition. This process is important as the static fire testing will give valuable information that could further be used to make decisions before the launch. The static ignition test was conducted for all 33 Raptor 2 engines on board. Assuming that all results out of this static test fire are positive, chances are that SpaceX could also take the decision to use this rocket for the orbital launch debut. Now let us assume that the test fails. What could be the step that SpaceX could take in such a situation? In that case, chances are that they'll retire Ship 24 along with Booster 7 to further move on to 8 or 9. Ship 24 will then be replaced by Ship 25. It's a fact that Booster 8 is already ready and has also been placed at the launch site. This has been the case for quite a while now. However, the fact that the company has not yet gone ahead with testing makes us doubt if SpaceX intends to do anything about it. Also, did you know that Booster 9 is also just a step away from completion? The advancement in technology that the Booster 9 comprises makes it a suitable candidate to perform better in case of a mid-flight Raptor engine failure. Do you know what makes it unique? It is a fact that it will be the first one in its class to have no hydraulic system. This is because of a newer version of the Raptor engine that successfully replaces the hydraulic thrust vectoring through a battery alternative. Ship 25 was taken directly to a test stand from the factory. This test stand has six hydraulic ramps and will simulate the thrust of six Raptor 2 engines to take it up to 1400 tons while the Starship is loaded with cryogenic liquid oxygen and nitrogen. The objective here is to make sure that the ship will be able to take up the stress that it's been made for. Assuming that it passes the test, the ship will be rowed back to the Raptor engine installation and will eventually return to the pad when it's ready for the static fire testing. On the 12th of October, the S24 was stacked onto the Super Heavy Booster 7, which was stacked at the test pad as part of the testing process. The test was to check with the fueling process and to make necessary preparations for the static fire test of the Booster 33 Raptor 2 engines. However, there was a small deviation from the plan they had as a result of the tilt noticed in Booster 7. This tilt was towards the integration tower leading to a misalignment. SpaceX had to make some important decisions the very next day when they found out about the tilt. 
Elon Musk came out on Twitter and made a statement that they were proceeding very carefully. He also stated that if there was an RUD on the pad, the Starship progress could be set back by six months. This is certainly not something that they would want. This happened just before the event on the 20th of October, which we discussed earlier. With that context, let us look now at what lies ahead for SpaceX. The alignment issues were corrected and the spacecraft is now ready to be tested in full swing. They were preparing for a full cryogenic wet dress rehearsal, which involved fully loading the rocket with methane and oxygen, as discussed earlier, to start with the countdown, ending it just before the ignition of the 33 Raptor 2 engines. The test has been designed to simulate the conditions of the launch day apart from that of the actual ignition. To foster better transportation, SpaceX had indicated the closure of the roads from the 24th of October till the 28th of October 2022. A positive result out of the Booster 7 test is perhaps a very important target for the team. This will give them the opportunity to test all 33 engines simultaneously. Assuming that things all go as they've been planned, SpaceX will then have to produce the required permission from the Federal Aviation Administration, otherwise called the FAA. As soon as they get this permission, SpaceX will be able to launch the S-24B7 to orbit. While the launch dates, which are favorable, seem to be between December 2022 and January 2023, we may see a lot more testing and research activities to make sure that the investments being made are in the right direction. Their careful approach is to make sure that nothing goes wrong after such long preparations. As discussed earlier, some failures or mishaps could set back the progress by months, and in the worst case, even years. This is not something SpaceX intends to risk. The smooth and careful approach thereby justifies the intentions they have. As a matter of fact, the issue of having a reliable space engine is something that NASA and Blue Origin are also having to face. So it looks like SpaceX is in a race and will need to speed up to make sure that they're pioneers to a solution. There has also been a lot of tests already. Both the S24 and the Booster 7 seem to be performing well within what they're expected to do. But there's still something that needs to be confirmed before we see the announcement of a final launch date. If things go well, we may be able to get the orbit mission turning into reality, which is something we've all been waiting for. We'll see more of these prototypes and tests multiple times before we see a launch. As we mentioned earlier, assuming that the first few tests go well, we may even see a test of all 33 rockets being ignited simultaneously. That will certainly be one we'll all be waiting for. We think it won't be long before we see that happening. What do you think? What do you think will be the fate of the new Starship? Will it be launched into space soon? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section, and we'll get back to you with more information. Until we meet again, keep watching similar videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with all those who would love to hear a word about the latest space updates.